This is the informant. Are you in position? Yep, I'm good to go. Alright, let's take this from the top. Um, we just need the tags, so could you add a little pause this time between the first and second lines? That would be excellent. Okay, here we go. Firewire is good, iPod is capturing, and action! As you can see, corruption is poisoning the media department. Wait, this has God, been my- Shh. Do you hear that? You get out of here. I'll make up some excuse. Alright. I'm taking the iPod. Call me if you have a problem. That's fine. Go. You're late. My sincere apologies. I may be little, but I'm not incompetent. I'll do anything, anything. Please don't hurt my mom, please, no! Okay, hold on. We need to redo the please no. Your pee came in a little too high. All right, I can hit the pee. Can you give me an idea check? P, 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 two, 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 two. Got it, just the last three lines now. And, go ahead. Please, don't hurt my mom, no! Okay, great, we're done. So this whole robbery thing is unbelievable. I know. I can't even fathom how this could have possibly happened. It'll bring down the entire department for sure. Have they canceled Ask the Doctor? I'm afraid so. That's not good. Yeah, I'd like to order some uh, CDs. Sure, I'll hold. If you hear anything, let me know. Will do. How's it going, Matt, man? Oh. Um, yeah. Thanks, Chad. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm not too crazy about animation. It's kind of juvenile for me, but uh, you're a good man. Keep up the good work. And that's my execute. Do you bring them in on your productions just to spite me? It's good for you. What if I told you that everything I ever tried to do was ruined by Chad Warmbine? Ridiculous. This was my chance to put Channel 7 on the map, and I was cut off the finish line. Well, it's kind of tough for me to give my opinion when I don't know what the secret plan is. Don't when you speak about that down here. I want you to start asking around about these camera thefts. This wasn't part of my plan. Start with Chad. Chad, you're insane. Don't make me sour. I want you in on this, but remember, I consider you expendable. Could you read your first line, please? Hey, Mr. Bob. What's up? Can I use the lighting kit? Sure. Thanks. What's going on? I haven't heard from you. I don't know what that was all about. I need to regroup. I'll contact you when I have a plan. You're not going to keep me in the dark on this. Camera theft? Where do I start? Who'd want those cameras? Who would need those cameras? Hey, Matt, can you get a uh, goofball from the dark room? I really need him to put his camera away. Brilliant! Listen, I don't Come care on, about man. your fingerprint. Tell me what you know about the camera theft. I've heard a few things. Well, what do you know? It's gonna cost you a roll of T-Max. Consider my payment me not telling Mrs. Bahanai how you exposed a whole stack of photo paper last week. Well, I heard something about Will Clower. The Will Clower of Sante? Hey, 
you were on camera on Will Flowers show, right? Yeah. Did you notice anything about Will on December 16th? No, I mean, people said he was taking some cameras. No, but Thursday. Anything strange? No, he seemed fine as always. You know anything about an Irma Grego? Um, she's the uh, producer of Will Flowers show. She's always... The PT connection. I think she's also Garrett's mother. I'm gonna have to give Clower a call. No use. He skipped town. He's in France. Someone said they saw him on the news. There was a soundbite about him spotted with Grego in Chicago. I can't believe he'd stab me in the back like that. Would somebody turn off those clauses? Alright, Garrett, just a minute. Clear this up right now. You clear this up. First off, I'm not even friends with Clower. I don't even know him. Second, my mom did give him a gig in France, but it's for big bucks. With his salary, he can have all the cameras he wants. I can't believe this. I think I may have something that'll change your mind. It's time for you to hear about the plan. It has to do with Mr. Bonai and Jean Michael. Mr. Bonai, I have evidence proving that you were the one who stole the studio cameras. My evidence is this. You're not angry enough. I saw you put that Gene CD away earlier, and I have videos of you making music on our audio board, which, coincidentally, is a 24-channel audio board, a necessity for low-budget music producers. Hello? This is the informant. Your time is up. I will see to it that you go down now for Now, you this. listen to me. This was my idea. It was my show. We're going to play it my way. Hello? Are you there? Hello? Have you or have you not been involved in illegal activities, including, but not limited to, taking profits from music produced in this studio under the alias of Gene Michaels? Ow! Why would you just hand me the evidence? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, Matt here. Hello, Matt. This is the informant. I have a package for you that you may find interesting. You will find it in the kitchen. Check the deep fryer. Who is this? Where'd you get this information from? Who are you? Look. Hey, I found Garrett's iPod. All the evidence is there. I just need to hold Garrett and Matt off for a few more minutes while I sort some things out. Would you be willing to take the blame for a while? Um, yeah, sure. Get Matt first. He's in the cafeteria. So it was Chad. But why? The outcast, the misfit. What reasons would he have to bring down an entire department? So you did it! Yeah, I did it. Why? Because it had to be done. Because the department was at risk and because it was the right thing to do. Delta, I'll make sure you're never part of any production again. You're finished. You're not going to get away with this. What's going on? You're not gonna believe this. Where's the informant? He's not here. Come with me. Get your hands off me! Off! That fallacious fetus! It was perfect! You're going down, buddy. Mr. Bonai and I find you guilty of stealing the cameras. And frankly, I'm offended that you would try to blame my daughter, Molly Frick, for helping you. It's an injustice that I cannot put you in the slammer for life. Your punishment? 15 lashings. It will be administered tomorrow morning. Yeah. So, do you want to explain this one to me? Well, I'm sure you know Garrett is a very ambitious person. You probably have some ambitions yourself. Yeah, but... Well, I'm glad to say yours were innocent. I guess they're ready for you. I'll tell you the story later. Yeah, okay. And so... The media department returned to a state of peace and harmony. Garrett's rapacious plan was to no avail. Yes, Molly Frick did steal the cameras, but she saved the day for sure. The End
Keep it going so, here. So get the Italian seasoning. I got it. I got the Worcestershire sauce. Good. Try saying that one five times. Because this is our show, uh, just under ten. And Indeed, where we show how to film, make not film tape, tape, tape video how to make products. things under ten minutes. And today we're going to be dealing with a microwave. And we're having a party, so we're making party food. Naturally. And, the, and we're starting off with Chex Mix, right? It's a, a party mix, if which, you will. Which is the ethnic food. If it because is. we have Italian seasoning, therefore it's Italian. Yeah, I Seasoned guess so. salt, right? Worcestershire sauce. I'm getting uh, pretty how, good at saying that how now. How do you say it? Oh. And it's, it's pretty simple. And then you melt it with butter, put it in. And Chex Mix conveniently it, measured out of three different types of varieties, right? So it's convenient for all those people that have it measured out at home already. Because everybody sure has it already do. measured yes. out. Well, because we only have 10 minutes. We don't have 20. This is true because it is just under 10. Right. So. Add some one. pretzels. And Chex Mix does take a while. Probably longer than just going out and buying some. But Definitely longer. It might be more fun to make it yourself. I, I would think oh, so. Oh, sorry. That you guys Thank you. get to shake. I do. I'm an expert. Chex Mix. Party Mix. Shaker. Exactly. And it's nice. actually a technique. Matt has mastered the technique of shaking Chex Mix. Yeah. So if you don't get it right. It's just, it's random. But it's a, but it's a studied a randomness, if you will. So, well, when we really come back, I'm it. thinking what we'll make some some bean dip because you can't just live on Chex Mix. It's true. Too much carbs. Not well, good for the Atkins diet. I don't think there's really such a thing as too many carbs. I'm more of a potato and bread and pasta person. So we're going with an Irish food next. I don't know. Maybe just the healthy food. I like Irish food. Full this of is carbs. really healthy. Yeah, I know. It's got every food group. It looks pretty good today again too. It has your wheat and grain. That's true. We get and lots of grain variety. Lots of other good stuff. Can we get a picture of this? It's pretty good. So, I guess we can just add some colorful. You can put some red hot in here. Red hot? Do we have any? I would.
a good idea. Check is probably like if you think try. about it. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna be. I give that one a five. It's good. I wouldn't eat it for a meal. Certainly. You'd have to have some protein. Well, I don't even know about that. It's just not that good. You could have some <laughs> beans, actually. Oh, Speaking well. Speaking of which, we could make a. That's quite the segue. We, we could make some uh, dog. I mean, bean dip here. And the running joke is how good this looks. But if you add uh, some refried beans, which have to be healthy for you and your pet. I don't think they would be. But we're, we're, going, we're going along with the whole nationality thing. Uh -huh. We're making, making some Mexican. We already have our Italian. So you can put in the Velveeta. Which is already conveniently cubed. Yes, as always. And the good thing about Velveeta is there's not many preservatives in it. So make sure you keep it refrigerated. Exactly. And you can also add uh, not coming out. green chilies. And you can bounce which, them on your arm like they do in Aladdin. Right. Remember when he I takes mean, the apple? The he apple. bounces it on his How arm. How are the apples like green chilies? No, no, no. You're, I mean, you're not even comparing apples and oranges here. In Aladdin, when he goes like that. Do you remember that? I, you know what my favorite line from that is? Whenever he's running away from yes. um, the guards and he's you know, not in trouble until you get caught. Yeah, that's... And goes, oh, I'm in trouble. I love that. But anyway, it's kind of... So anyway, when you put all these things together, and we do try these recipes before, and we decided mm -hmm. that putting the green chilies in was not the best idea. Right, because it smelled even worse than it's going to smell. I don't think it's going but to We have Lysol handy. It's, you could feed it to your cat. <laughs> or Speaking of cat, are these little uh, cat tails? Plants, are they cat tails or thistles? You know what? No, they're cat tails. I would think. And actually, the high school has cat tails, so technically we are a marsh. I plant. would think they're We are more marsh thistles. than we're legally. But after you eat this, I feel like you got so put it in hit the, by the a cat of nine for, for like six, six? Six mm -hmm. minutes. As long as it's under ten minutes, it probably can't get much worse unless you leave it in for more than ten minutes. So keep it, it just for, under if ten. If you leave it in for more than six, then I think you should give up. We tried yeah. everything to try and fix this. But it'll probably result in... Another probably, fantastic it'll be bean fun. dip, which only one person will try. Yeah, and something... And I mean, we <laughs> dropped our playing cards. How are we going to play? Well, I don't think we we're ever really going to play, so it doesn't matter. But oh, if we cool. if we were going to play, we ha well actually we, we, we finally have a recipe card. We, there are no recipes the, on there, which we're I would imagine put them defeats on. the purpose. We didn't get, yes, we, we're we're going to put them on the back of our cards, which conveniently has a ten. Do you like that? I was going for a decorating theme, just under ten. Like, look, the six is just under the ten. Wow. I know. That's really bad. <laughs> it's okay. But all right, so if everything here has to be. Uh, so I'm thinking that. Super literal. That's okay. Some people are like that. I'm more of a like big picture okay. guy. Hello and welcome to Cupid Zero. On today's show, we have Brittany and Steph competing for the love of our stud muffin. Let's welcome our two contestants to the show, Steph and Brittany. My name's Steph. I am 16 years old and I live in Albornia. I was born and raised there. But when I was about 10 years old, I moved to Pittsburgh. I currently attend Peters Township High School. I'm in 11th grade, and I will be 17 years old very soon. I like playing soccer. I do that a whole lot. I play softball and volleyball and field hockey, and I swim, and I do track. I do basically everything that you can do in a sport. My name's Brittany, I'm 16 years old, and I'm from Antarctica. Um, my dream date is somebody who's tall, dark, and handsome. He has to have a great sense of style, and a nice car is always a plus. Um, a good first date would be a nice movie or dinner. Treating me to dinner is always nice. And I don't know, I like the beach a lot, too. Hopefully, hopefully I get a good date for this. Now the question we all want to know, where a hunk, will our hunk choose, the sporty Steph or the bubbly Brittany? So let's hear about Steph's date. My date was amazing. We are so perfect for each other. I've never met a man with bigger muscles than me, and he has them, which makes him a keeper. We had a blast at the gym, and I think I gave him some competition, and I wore him out. I can't wait for another date with this hunk. I have this one. Brittany is way too fake to compete with these natural muscles. Looks like you two really hit it off. But before we make any conclusions, let's hear about Brittany's date. Well, my date went extremely well. He was very attractive. I mean, his style could have used a little help, but his looks made up for it. He was charming and funny and very nice. He took me to a nice restaurant and treated me to dinner, which is a plus. 
We had so much in common, the same taste in music, movies, and cars. He also is about my age. I feel we really made a connection, and I'm positive that I'm going to win this. There is definitely no way him and Steph State could have possibly gone half as good as ours did. And there's for sure no way he's going to pick some jock girl over me. Honestly, who wants to date someone who could kick their butt? Now that we've had both girls talk about their dates, let's see who our stud is chosen, the athletic Steph or the girly Brittany. And by the way, Brittany, what was she wearing? Who wears that stuff on a normal basis? That tight stuff is disgusting. He is way more into me and the way I dress and live my life. He likes a healthy girl and not one that's gonna go out and just, I don't know, go to McDonald's or something. I can't believe that Steph wore sweatpants on her first date. She's not gonna make a good impression. I have a feeling that no guy would like that kind of style and I, I definitely feel like I'm going to win this. Here's Michael. He's gonna Hi, Tina. Hello, Michael. Now we're all dying to know, which one of these girls have you chosen? Well, Tina, it was a tough decision, but I'm pretty sure I have the right girl. Brittany, you're a wonderful girl, and I had a great time on her date. But after having dinner with you, I think you might be a little too high maintenance. I'm sorry, but my choice is Steph. That's the end of our show. It looks like the winner is Steph. And Brittany, I'm sorry, but you're going home alone. Let's give it up for our winners, Steph and Michael. We have a minute Here. 15 think fast. left we can stop it on the bean dip. I think we should stop it early because I don't really think there's any way to save it. I have the other tomato, too. I can too. take it out. Do I need any sort of gloves or uh, hazmat soup? I think you're good. Soup? <laughs> This just looks delightful. It looks much better I'll than take, yesterday. I'll take it over here to stir it. As you can see, the refried beans just mixed in beautifully. And when you slop it all up, it really, really makes Matt, for a good snack. You're not making it any better. I am making it better. It's because we didn't add the chilies, I think. I think so. Well, at least it doesn't smell. If you add the chilies, it probably would still smell really bad. <laughs> so here's the the tomato. Which tomato gets added to this? Right. No, we can if you want. This is where the chicken quesadilla is. Chicken quesadilla. Remember, I told you that I went and got the good tomatoes. We're going because heavy on the Mexican food because, today. Because it's easy to reheat. It's already cooked. Remember? Yeah. And everything's hot down there. But I don't know. It still seems a little bit sketchy to me. Well, we have the good tortilla chips to save the dip. Okay. So. So you? all you have to do is put this in this mixture, and. You are so show. desperate to try and save this thing. I, I think it's great. I don't think there's much here that we can save. Well, and so do you want to move I, on? To I know that thing? you have so much confidence in this. I, it'd probably be good if you just took it. Why did you I, just yeah. put that if much on it? I will pay you $20 bite. if you eat that. No, you probably couldn't pay me $50,000. Actually, maybe. Really? Maybe. $50,000 maybe? Maybe. I mean, that's going up there with Fear Factor. That, it is, and that's probably just as canned as the refried beans. That's okay. Right. Right. We'll keep it moving on. For the chicken quesadillas, we're too lazy, so we went out and got the chicken that's already cooked, being that you can't really cook raw chicken in a microwave no, anyway. I don't really think you can cook any sort of chicken in a microwave. You're just asking for lawsuits with that one. I think you're asking for any type of lawsuit when you try to cook meat in a microwave. Probably not a good idea. I think they do it at restaurants. Not to mention, this is probably just the strange chicken. I know like, they're free range chickens, but it's they a, don't keep them in pan. Well, how can a chicken be flavored? It's Jake. Glad I caught you. In between jobs? Yeah, I'm out in California. What's up? Danny Kilter. You remember him? Yeah, yeah. He was our chief here, right? Well, I saw him again here, in Washington. 
I was visiting my sister. She works at the hospital. Danny has a bed here. Oh, how is he? Not good. He's actually a few feet away from me, and he wanted me to call you. He wants to talk. What about? Mark, is that you? Good to see one of Goebbels' user, Chief. Bradlin, what are you doing in D.C.? You're in Swiss report back till next month. I just chat with Danny Kilker. He says hello. He also told me about the test. You know, I always liked him. He had this one line to sum up an espionage. Suspicion is survival when trust is lost. Now we can't lose trust in this business. But we seem to lose it all the time. Cut to the chase, Bradlin. What's this about? I lost the trust. Danny told me about the whole thing. Now, I'm suspicious, and I want out. Oh, that's just great. Do you want a going away party, too? Come on, Bradlin. I can get you another job. It can be somewhere else, but it has to be in the Bureau. The beauty of this is that you have no way of proving I know what I know. No tape recorders playing or anything? You're still a rookie in my eyes. I'm telling you now, you can save your hide if you let me go. Otherwise, you'll be dealing with a lot more than just a disgruntled employee. Two words. Media coverage. Funny how they can uncover something you thought you had covered up. What exactly do you think you'd know? Nothing. If you let me go. Sit down, let's talk. Give me Mark Bradley's file. Calvin, you little rookie here. What's up? Nothing, Tyler. I didn't know it was Cash Friday. Would have brought my peach. So, why did Bradlin storm off the other day? I wouldn't underestimate him if I were you. Got it under control. I'll talk to his last partner. Nah, don't bother. Her name was Judy Camden. I'll get him back. If he doesn't get you first. Hey, Judy. You mind if I come in? Sure. I wasn't sure if you were still living here. Nowhere else to go, I guess. Uh, you could have come and seen me. On business, I could have. Well, I'm here on business. No one called me. They wouldn't. Did you remember Danny Kilter? Of course. Yeah, well, I talked to him recently. He told me something about the company. Sit down. We never talked about past experiences much, but I bet I can guess yours. You were probably into spy TV shows, suggested by the teacher maybe. Book assignments, they were different for you. They dealt with subject matter that you'd use later in life. You're encouraged to study different languages. Does that sound familiar? Yeah. In the encouragement we needed to throw ourselves into this life, it all began right after we took the test in school. Just one standardized test. It picked kids across the country. Mark, what are you saying? I'm saying the chosen don't get to choose. This life, the identity, the undercover missions, we never chose it. We were made to believe we chose it. Mark, slow down. Start from the beginning. 
We never chose this life, Judy. We are trained and groomed to play the game of espionage. Property of the United States. And other countries place bets on us to see who dies. They have the courtesy of leaving that part out during the American government class. I have to get that. What's the number? I don't recognize it. Well, if I've learned one thing, it's that things you don't know, or recognize, can kill you. Mark, I don't understand. You knew what you were getting into. Why are you doing this? Because James Bond made it look like so much fun. What do you mean she's not there? I don't care how you find her. Just do it. And do it now. Judy's gone. The spy business is overrated, isn't it? So is good news. Hey! Watch the tie. It seems I made like it for you right here. Chicken quesadilla. I know, and look. Two words are look done. what I got for you, just for you. Silverware. Plasticware. All right, whatever. This. Does it look silver to you? Yes, it does. It's transparentware. Right. Know. Exactly. But this smells about as good as a bean dip. Which, what? Uh, I think it's better. I don't know. Oh, it's got to be better. Looks kind of weird. Do you want some Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire. No. I was going. So no, well definitely with not. This. Are you sure? It might add a little wow. bit of flavor. Wow. That, that is. It's a really good case to do. Are you serious? Or are you just doing that to flatter? You can me? have the rest. It's that good, huh? Mm -hmm. Here, I'll take it. Yeah. Find you know, some place. I'm kind of worried about this. Maybe I'm not like such a good cook. If garbage. I can't cook stuff in the microwave, I burn. <laughs> I burn popcorn. Well, as long as you burn it under 10 minutes, I think it would fit here <laughs> would it? because it really doesn't Our matter. Show. The quality, just as long as it's under 10 minutes. You got cheddar cheese. Which works. I don't think all the cheese in the world would save that quesadilla. No, probably not. Especially cheddar cheese. Was it the chicken or was it the tomatoes? I think you know, it was a, a chicken. There's a lot of things on there. I think it was a southwestern chicken. How it should just have some implied taste because oh, it was southwestern. raised somewhere. Southwestern uh, chicken. Southwest like an Arizona chicken? Yeah. Would an Arizona chicken be better than a Pennsylvania That's chicken? That's what I was thinking about earlier. Probably. Are they implying that? Because I don't even know. What do they even do in Arizona? That's kind of assuming things. You can't have chicken down there. It's way too hot. Yeah, it's you can, Phoenix. You know what? You can have southwestern flavored. What are the dragons? Komodo dragons? Not Komodo. What? You know the dragons that they have down there? Well, they're not really China? dragons, but no. No, 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 no. Well, the, the ones down. I think it's. Gila monster. I think it's the. It, southwestern Gila monster. It's, That's the new thing that Jay should come out with. It is the year of the monkey. Forget chicken. I'm pretty sure. I think it's rat. Is it? Last I'm year was monkey. Sure. You're right. I don't know, though. I don't. How did you know last year was monkey? I think because I'm everybody said, whoa, 2004, it's Year of the Monkey. Do you know what the year you are? I'm a Year of the Tiger. I don't like, know what year I'm I am. I'm the Tiger, you're the Tiger? I think I'm the Year of 87. And that's you pretty think, much. You think or you know? I, I it might think. be good it's to know the actual remember. year. I mean, I can understand not knowing the year of like, the Chinese year. Yeah, I don't think anybody but really ever needs to know the know Chinese that. year, except for the Chinese. And even they don't need to know it. They just need to try to find ways. I don't know. How would you remember that? Do you think they have an acronym? Probably. Or a symbol of some sort. Folding it. Trying to and fan out the. So trying to that. fan out the 